This tutorial and guide will show you how to get started in the game Ship Graveyard Simulator. This is a fantastic game. If you love to craft things, if you love to destroy things, Ship Graveyard Simulator is for you. Believe me, guys. Okay, so basically it takes place out in some place like Bangladesh and a ship graveyard. You're going to find yourself right here in the beginning. First thing you want to do, and I'm going to show you the first things and how to get started, even though there is a tutorial. Here are the settings right here. I'm running it all on Epic, so this is what it'll look like for you. It runs very, very fast and very, very smooth. I want to show you what the game looks like to see if you're going to like it. Uh, this may be the game for you. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, matter of fact, I've been playing it, and it's like, wow, not bad at all. I mean, it does look a little dated, but heck, this thing plays really good. And the idea is just fantastic behind it. Basically, you go to this guy first. He's going to ask you and want you to destroy some stuff and sell some stuff. And your other quest is going to be to get some tools right here. You're going to get the hacksaw, but you're going to need some money. And you're going to also need to upgrade your facilities. That's the other half of the fun here is upgrading. You're going to have a nice little uh, pickup truck here. Make sure you use this because it has a lot of storage in the back. And this thing runs very good. It's The controls are pretty good. It's like Thief Simulator. I think this is kind of like that game in a way. It's kind of weird. So go on over here and the first thing you can do is you can collect some of the raw materials on the ground. In addition, you want to go ahead and break these things that are sticking up. You'll know when you got a uh, proper one because when you approach it and you put the target over, it'll turn green. Notice the white spots on it. That's a weak point. You want to hit these weak points because it'll speed up the job here now they do have a day and night cycle so you preferably you want to work during the day because it's a pain working at night pick these up hit the e key just like this and you're going to get copper you're just going to get the basic raw materials so it's kind of fun to collect all these things you can go around the ground and collect it and then you're going to upgrade your thing see like this is when you get skill points you're going to level up your hammer and all these you're going to get lock pick as actually as you get more progress right here and you level up you'll be able to make different things you'll be able to take on different jobs bigger and better jobs and some of these ships are huge and some of the things that you can get from them are pretty cool too there's a little treasure boxes in there too that you can go ahead and get you can also hire workers to do stuff for you but don't do it right now because you don't have that much money instead this is just about getting started in the game okay so you notice on the left side of the screen there's bits of metal laying around and they left these here so you can go and pick them up because you got to start somewhere and you got to be a scrounger you'll notice them over there now i want to point out this thing here if there's something you can't demolish it'll show it like this notice there's a hacksaw in there you need the hacksaw to take this you can beat on it all day long with a hammer and ain't nothing going to happen so go ahead and start picking up other stuff you can't touch the rocks either now you'll see more stuff like this just break this stuff down look at the better you hit these spots the better it breaks down and go ahead and start collecting all the raw materials get as much as you can because you're going to need it and you're going to see all these all over the horizontal one like i said you're going to need to get a hacksaw and so you want to save up and get that thing too there's also one more thing i want to show you that you're going to buy first the first thing i would buy is extra space in your backpack to carry more stuff because space is at a premium here and uh it really speeds things up a lot you're going to have these kind of things this little inconspicuous iron things laying around just bonk on that it's funny that you could break this apart with a sledgehammer. Just go ahead and break it up. Pick every single thing up. And look at this. Hit that weak spot. You may move around like this. Sometimes it's green, but you're not hitting anything. That's where you have to really get the aim just right with this game. But it's all fun, and it's good times. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go over here. And uh, back to our truck. I prefer to use a truck driver. But let's go to the trunk right here. And you want to get this trunk because look at how much it holds there. That way you can take apart the first ship almost with just the pickup truck and you. And get back in here. And it's time to go ahead and look at this car. It drives not bad too. And you can go all the way back here. And just look at how much time it's going to save you. If you had to run this or hoof it, it'll take you forever. You get back over to this guy. And you're going to complete the next part. Sell materials in the market. But don't sell everything. Hang on to stuff like copper. You can sell the cast iron and some of the rusted metal, but you're going to need that copper and you're going to need some of the rusted metal for your quest later on. Okay, so after that, it's going to tell you to go on over this guy here. 
you go on to this guy here and take a look at what that uh, hacksaw costs fifty dollars we don't quite have that yet so go ahead and I would suggest you to sell in cast iron or sell that there you go sell that and then you're gonna get this too so you want this hacksaw because this hacksaw will allow you to get some copper you can cut all sorts of things and later on you can upgrade this so that's what you want to buy there we go we got our hacksaw and I will go ahead and show you how to use the hacksaw in a few moments okay so now that you've done that you have two things that you really need to do number one thing is you need to make the workshop and uh, there's a, a item that you're going to be able to make out of that thing and as you upgrade those facilities you'll be able to make more and more stuff notice the upgrades you get here see I upgrade the slot there that's very important you upgrade that slot because you, now you got that free slot like I was talking about there so upgrade those slots so you can carry more believe me it'll save you a lot of driving back and forth and after a while you're not going to like driving back and forth in this silly pickup truck next thing you want to do is go into this building right here and you're going to order a ship and tell them to bring it in and this is a dollar a day this is el cheapo here so just bring this thing you'll see what it does have on it, it has some large a large amount of oil it has some copper some aluminum so you get to see what's available on this here and it's a cool little uh, ship you can break to pieces. It's a lot of fun going around them. And later on, there's going to be some cool little surprises that you're going to find there. Next thing you want to do is they want you to wait for it because the ship just doesn't magically appear. You want to go ahead and take a nap because you got to be all rested up, bright-eyed, and bushy-tailed the next day when this happens. Not that it really matters, so go ahead and sleep until the next day. You can see what happens right there there's some stuff that will spawn out there okay let's go hit the sack and turn out the lights and we wake up the next day yep we're right in front and guess what somebody parked the toyota back there here's one thing i want to point out this is what your first goal is it's going to be the workshop you need 400 dollars you need 10 rusted steel and six copper make sure you save those uh, amounts there because you're going to need to build this this will uh, allow you to go ahead it has like a smelter and it'll allow you to go ahead and make other kind of raw materials, which is really cool too. So start saving up on these things. Keep them in mind. And so you don't um, get to a point where you, you sell those things back. Because then you just got to go back out there. And if you wreck your boat, and all, then you got to be a scrounger. And you got to go around and scrounge around those other ones. That takes a long time. Once again, you can take your time at this part of the game. But I'm just showing you how to be really efficient with it. Now go back to this. This is your boat right here. Notice they put boxes there for you. And I don't know how they got the boat all the way up here, but they did somehow. And just try to jump up on these things, hit the space bar, and go forward, and then do this. Now you're gonna have a couple things here. You have metal things. These things are a little tricky. See how it turns white? You're gonna have to reposition yourself. Otherwise, just stay in one spot. But you wanna get those spots. See, I'm doing no damage. Hit the control key, left control key. That'll allow you to get down and break it up what I suggest you do major tip is to go around and just break everything here I mean you don't even have to pick it up okay now these things are kind of weird they don't give you anything and notice that's nothing just hit once again you can hit the control key hold the control key down hold the left mouse button down to break those things up and you're gonna go in here and take a look in here this is the inside of the ship which is kind of cool there's something you need a lock pick so the thing you want to do is after you get enough money Go buy that lockpick. Look at this. Look what it has. You need a blowtorch to do this. You're not going to be able to do this right away. So you got to save up money and get upgrades so you can get the blowtorch. We're going to. Sh I'm going to show you how to go ahead and pick in a moment. There's some surprise things in there like aluminum and there's some boxes. When you're all done with your ship, it should look something like this. And guess what? Another surprise box up there just for you. We're all full right now. So it's now time to go run back over to your car. And look at that. We whoop de doo We filled the whole thing up. So now you want to go back and you want to sell what you can and use the rest of it to craft your workshop. So let's go back and now we're back here. So this is what we want. We want our copper and all that stuff. Get everything together. And this is what's going to take. Now we see if you got all the pieces on your inventory, that's on you, not the truck. It's ready to go and you can buy this. You can purchase it. So here we go. Now we've got this. And look at there, the smelting. It's called melting, but it's actually a smelter on the left. So what can we do with this thing? We can store stuff in the workshop, which is what a relief that is. Click on that thing, and it'll show you what you can make. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need the ingredients. Just hover over it, and it'll make unalloyed steel. And then you're going to uh, unalloy steel, and then you're going to make the temperature. Click this button, set to 1,000. Click this thing, 
and guess what it cuz it's going to come right pooping out of that thing there there you go you finished so these things you're going to need some of these for your next project so don't go selling all of them right away now you can sell them if you want to if you made extras you can see what they sell for they sell for more money so look at that you made some more money and you can go ahead and sell these things let's go back to the workshop now and now you take a look at the upgrades and what you're going to need for it you're going to need your um hacksaw right here and then so let's go ahead and we're going to upgrade this this is the next thing see make sure you have all this people that's why you need unalloyed steel and go ahead and purchase this and look at this beautiful building being built is this cool or what and there's the other tools you can get there's a a cut saw and all that reciprocating saw there's a hammer a lot of things and they're all fun to use you can get them up see look you got oil mop so you're gonna be doing more than you can imagine okay here's lock picking now what you want to do is you move the the lock picker right or left and then hit the space bar and it'll rotate the lock if it doesn't rotate like there then that means you can try it again just slightly that means you got to go the other way so move it the other way move it more and almost so that means reduce it a little bit and nope not quite and then about like there and got it and inside you have got some goodies woohoo you got your goodies okay so next thing that you're going to want to do right after that is i'm going to show you how to use a hacksaw and the hacksaw you got to point it at you got to get it green you got to point the tip of the hacksaw at it some people have a lot of trouble when you're cutting this thing you can't cut it all off so just get in there and get like as close as you can and cut this off okay guys good luck on this game hope you like it and hope you have fun